Well, hello, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert. I'm grateful for you tuning in. As we continue working through our seven measures of a growing Christian, this week we're exploring measure number five, which is serving, where we ask the question, how am I meeting the needs of others? And as we look at the storyline of Scripture, we see the theme that, that is so readily available is that Jesus served us. He served people. He repeatedly said things like, the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve. He had every right to expect people to serve Him and do things for Him, yet Jesus spent His whole earthly life serving and meeting the needs of others. And if you zoom out of the storyline a bit more, this is a principle of Christianity as a whole. Christianity is not about what we can do for God, but it's about what He has done for us. And this separates for us from nearly every other world religion or philosophy because everything else is about what we can do for their deity or, or little g God with, with the hope that you can do enough or be good enough to hopefully be rewarded. And Christianity says that God did everything for us and rewarded us immensely even though we didn't deserve it. And in exchange, he asked for our loyalty and for us to live out that same principle. And we're reminded of this when we look at the book of Acts, chapter 20, verse 35. It says, In all things I've shown you that by working hard in this way, we must help the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he himself said it is more blessed to give than to receive. See, we're told to work hard to help other people, and, and we're reminded of the words of Jesus where he says it's more blessed to give than to receive. He's not just talking about Christmas presents like maybe we typically think of with that quote. But he's talking about our time, our energy, our money, our abilities. So today, let me ask you, how can you use what you have, your time, your talent, your resources, to help and serve other people? I encourage you to live today with an openness to being interrupted in your day, in your schedule, by opportunities to help and serve others. And I hope that this becomes a habit and pattern in your life so that you can live more like Jesus to those around you by serving and meeting their needs and using what God has given you to help and bless other people. Hope that you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.